I was at camp last summer and speaking to a group of middle school students and I talked about a story in John chapter 9 that Jesus is uh, he's walking along the road he meets a blind man who's desperate to be healed and the blind man begs Jesus please heal me Jesus heal me Jesus does a really weird thing he takes this mud on the ground he spits in the mud makes it muddy the, the dirt makes it muddy takes the mud and he rubs it on the guy's eyes and touches him and then he says to this blind man who's completely blind and blind for a long time okay you need to take a journey it's about a quarter mile journey down to the pool of Siloam to wash yourself there. When you wash yourself, you'll be healed. I, I was compelled by this story. I thought, that's crazy. You know, Jesus touches the man, then he makes him kind of take this journey of faith to go wash himself so he can receive this healing. So as I was talking to the students about this story, I, I really felt like God was asking me to do the same thing for these kids. That there was so much brokenness and so many things going on in their lives that, that they needed healing from, that Jesus wanted to touch them. He wanted to heal them. So I got the counselors to make buckets of mud. And I, I told the students, look, if you need healing for something in your life, why don't you come down and get some mud on and then take the quarter mile journey to the lake and wash yourself in the lake. And Jesus will heal you. He'll meet you there. He'll make you new. He'll clean you. He'll wash you. And it was unbelievable because I started a journey down to the lake while hundreds of students began to get mud on their faces and their arms. And I, I watched, I sat on the beach and watched the students crawled into the lake, some just splashing their faces off. One girl was in the lake for half an hour just pouring water over her head till I had to go get her out and say, Jesus has heard your prayer. You're healed. It's okay. You can come out now. It's good. He's got it. You know, sitting on the beach that night watching kids go to the water with their brokenness with the, represented by the mud on their faces and their hands and wash it off and see Jesus literally healing students and see them sobbing and being broken before the Lord, I got to tell you again, I was just struck with, wow, I need to get on my knees right now. I am in the presence of God. God is doing something amazing. I need to worship Him. I need to respect Him. I need to fear Him, bow down before Him, raise my hands and go, Lord, you are awesome. You are amazing. When's the last time you experienced God in such a way that the only response you had was to simply say, whoa, God, you're amazing. Whoa, God, I fear you. I respect you. You are awesome. 